Thank you so much for staying with us. You're still watching Wake Up Night Journal. And right now, it's time for us to look at what we have in the front papers, in the front of the papers, or in the front papers. <laughs> the front of the front. In the front of the front. And I have here with me Mike. <laughs> Mike, how far? Well, look at that. <laughs> Who starts new super review by saying how far? What is this world turning to? <laughs> Please, I beg leave and let leave. Don't stress me. <laughs> All right, so here I have the Vanguard, I have the Punch, I have the Guardian, and of course I have the Nations. All right, and uh, for the major headline here, I have aftermath of um, soldiers killing a bloodbath in Delta. Villagers flee, hide in forest. Uh, we have that on page five. At the top of the, the Vanguard there, on the strip, we have energy crisis, vandalism, debt, others hinders 8,000 megawatt supply. We have that um, report. Uh, we have that on page 24. Edo Guba, APC unveils Idahusa running mates. Uh, we have that on page 7. Terrorists kidnap 87 in fresh Kaduna attack. We have that on page 27. Nigeria doomed without a new constitution. We have that um, on page 8. Okay, and uh, there we have in front uh, we have images of the fo fo fallen soldiers, uh, photos as released in the defense headquarters, by the defense headquarters. And below that, on the left, we have SSANU, um, NASU, ground versus over withheld salaries. Uh, we have that on page nine. Beneath that, we have undersea cable cuts. Service now restored, telcos, NCC confirmed. We have that on page eight. And uh, yeah, so that's what, um, what we have majorly at the front of the Guardian. Mike, what would you say picked your attention? You should say, you know, we're alpha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm still trying to uh, get some of the stories here. Which uh, did you take just now? Uh, I just yeah. trying to come. Vanguard, Vanguard. Okay, punch. Let's do the punch now. Yeah. Uh, Army and Delta com Community Defair over rep reprisal as troops arrest mm -hmm. 20. Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, talking about the aftermath of yeah. uh, the uh, very sad uh, incident in Delta State. Yeah. The rider underneath that headline goes on to say Army accuses community of complicity. DHQ releases photos and names of fallen soldiers. May they so rest in peace. Uh, we condole with their families and friends. Mm -hmm. Delta Governor visits Okwama, meets with JTF Commander Rep, urges restraint, and IYC condemns attack. And uh, you can see the picture story there. Yeah. This is the picture story of all the fallen soldiers. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's, this is sad. Sad, sad to, um, to, to, to see. And like we said, mm. we, we, we commiserate and mm -hmm. condole with everybody, every one of them, their families and their friends. Very sad one there. Uh, all right. uh, just above the flag of punch there, dollar supply mm. rises to $11 billion. And Naira closes at 1572 to the dollar. Cable court, telcos pledge 100% voice data services today. Mm. If they don't catch the shark, we go chop the cable. The cable. <laughs> Reps, summon Edun and RMAFC mm. over judges' poor pay. Mm. Uh, all of that uh, attention in Ogun as transport unions clash over ticket sales. 87 abducted in fresh Cardona raid. Borno bomber dies. And EFCC uncovers 324 houses and documents for Kano pensioners. All of this. Uh, on the punch newspaper yeah okay. i mean this whole um delta situation literally just yeah me, very yeah bad. i mean Especially it's really sad see, uh the the, the, the pictures yeah. there of uh, those who have yeah. fallen and i do it and as much as we talk about how oh uh, this has happened in north have they fought back that way there it's no excuse, no excuse. it's no excuse i mean yeah. two wrongs though it does that it happens or they didn't reprise it. You don't know the current the situation of things as it were. Of course. It's, it's, the North has been a war zone for a very long while. The military have done what they can. But having to see someone who goes to serve, who goes to protect lives in such a manner, quite very sad. So we should not try to excuse it by talking about whatever happened in some other place. Mm. It's really sad anyways. Uh, moving on now to The Guardian, we have... Um, inflation and rising construction costs. We have low middle class defer. Home ownership plans for food. We have that on page six. So the rise there beside the infographics. 
Uh, for the infographics we have, with 30% of income needed for mortgage, it's difficult for workers earning 100,000 naira to own a home. And uh, to the right of that, we have February food inflation, 37.92%. And uh, to the right of that, we have courts convict five for murder, kidnapping in rivers. We have that on page eight. Settle Nasu. Sanu, members urgently, NLC tells governments. We have that on page three. And uh, to the left there, we have Tinubu meets Edo APC chiefs over state crisis. We have that on page five. Below, we have Sonwolu, ex-governors, others call for new constitution. We have that on page seven. Terrorism, Ohaneze cautions Tinubu as gunmen abduct dozens in fresh Kaduna attack. We have that on page six. Lutin depicts misrule, misery, and decadence in society. We have that on page 12. And down the strip there, we have implementation huddles for QPS provisions in new electricity acts. We have that on page 4. Metering gaps remain despite 273.3 billion naira loan to discos for meters. Others, we have that on page 2. I think what catches my attention here, I mean, a lot catch my attention here, but then again, talking about the call for a new constitution. I remember literally being in law school, even in Uniben, right, during my law classes, and we were going through the constitution, and then we were wondering, like, these laws, they were written, first of all, they were fashioned. These things were in the 50s, They 60s. were written, like, a long time ago, fashioned every majorly generation, after, Every generation, you should after, be talking about promulgating new yeah, laws and all exactly, that, putting all exactly. of that together. Yeah. Every, I mean, some have been amended, adjusted, but then again, majorly. You know the question? I think, most I think of it. it's the U.S. Um, um, House. Mm -hmm. I think it's the Senate that, as at one particular point now, don't quote me, where you had over 70% of lawmakers, yeah. people who actually had something to do with law yeah. in um, in, in, in their college days and all of that, as it were, there. But over here, over here, is I don't know what percentage of our lawmakers yeah, actually law studied is. law, yeah. or had anything to do with they law. They just pass anything. I don't know if that that percentage, but I know it's not that high. Yeah. You know. So when people who understand law and was in charge of laws, they mm -hmm. may be like, you had that feeling and you know that this is outdated. Yeah, of course. If you were there, you probably mm -hmm. think about it. Yeah, because no thinking about it now, the constitution is not, a, is not a joke. Anyone who's sitting there to actually redo that, the person has to literally be, the person needs, like, it's not based on, there are a whole lot of information that literally resources the formation and formulation of the constitution. So, I mean, it's definitely going to be thorough work. So, whoever it is, it is, it is. Whichever. Uh, on that. So what about panel? All right. They decide okay. to rise. All right. Mm. Chef T's around, yeah? Yes, she is. And we have Titi also standing there. How far? What's happening in the kitchen?